Hey, welcome back to the Predator Arena. We're at the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas. Jay Helford, George Teachea. Teachea, you got it. Oh, God. Thank you, George. Wow. Fantastic. We got winner side action in the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship. This is the third round of the winner side. Both these gentlemen, boy, look at that leg. That ain't even close. Well, one got there. The other one just got halfway down the table. But that's Josh Roberts and Matt Edwards. Matt Edwards visiting from New Zealand, I believe. Six-time New Zealand champion. He's quite a player. There's been a lot of talk about Matt here. Mm -hmm. um, he's won a couple good matches. and uh, Well, in the, in, the ten ball, in the 10 ball championships, I saw him give Alex Pagaline all he could handle. So uh, that was a great match and uh, saw some outstanding play. We haven't had him on the stream yet, but here he is uh, playing Josh Roberts. Josh is where? Out of the Midwest? Yeah, Josh is Josh is strong, one pocket yeah. player, strong player out there. I mean, he's just been uh, tearing everything up and and scaring the heck out of everyone. He plays all games. Let me yes, tell you. Yes, he does. But uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Matt uh, defeated Oscar Dominguez, who's had a great ten ball tournament. Right. He's had a great eight ball tournament uh, for his first match at nine three. Then he uh, he beat up on nine nine two on Greg Harada. Good player. And uh, here he is meeting Josh Roberts. Uh, the winner of this match goes on to uh, meet Francisco Bustamante. That'll be next uh, round. That'll be next round, yeah. And as far as Josh goes, he uh, he, he bested uh, Jamal Uzi, Auzi, 9-3. Yeah. Kyle Pepin, 9-2. So they've both had uh, fairly uh, easy matches. You know, their opponent's not getting past five games. So they haven't been tested yet. And they're going to test each other. Josh with the opening breaks is a race to nine. Josh is much more familiar with eight ball on a small table. Matt told me there are no small tables in New Zealand, all oh. nine footers. So this is new to him. He huh? said it's the second time he's ever played on a, on, you know, well, seven foot tables. That attests to his his capabilities because if you're giving Alex Pagaline everything you can handle and and whoever else he uh, came you know drilled on uh, in the ten ball championships. And uh, and he's here on a small table for the first time. That's uh, that 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 shows he can play. He knows yeah, what he's, he's doing. Sa he said he said I've had to make an adjustment. That's yes. what he told me. <laughs> yeah, because it's very different playing on these small t on the on the seven foot diamonds. I yeah. mean, well, you don't have to play perfect shape. You don't have to move the cue ball around as much. Anyway, uh, he, he opted to take uh, solids here. Mm-hmm. It's a little congested up at the top of the table. I wonder if he'll play that. He's going to play that little billiard off the four and get that five out of the way. That would probably oh, be a. That'll work. No, he's not. He's going. He's going three balls. He's got first. it for later. He's got it for. He's going to do that now probably. Well, we're playing this uh, U.S. eight ball uh, open ch championships. We're playing it on diamond tables with Simonis cloths and Cyclops balls. Uh, all of this you can actually uh, buy at the official store, Omega Billiards, Ome Omega. You know what? <coughs> I bought a set of these balls last night. Did you really? I, bought, I went off last night. I was a consumer. <laughs> I bought a set of balls and I bought a cue stick. Yeah, you told uh, me you did. Did you yeah. hit some balls with it? Not yet. Okay. Uh, well, I hit three three or four balls mm. before I bought it, and I said, this is good. I'll take it. Well, here we go. Uh, underneath their names you see on your screen, if you're watching the live stream, uh, Roberts has a, Josh has a 773 Fargo, uh, and uh, Matt Edwards at a 652. Uh, gosh, his, his, his Fargo is lower than mine. <laughs> yeah, well. But uh, I'm not going to get out there and play him. <laughs> uh, I, I have a feeling it's because he has played very few matches yes. where he got a rating. Correct, yet. correct. Uh, his uh, oh, what is it? robustness isn't quite there. That's those are the words they use in Fargo. He's in a little bit of a predicament here. Can he shoot that? He can shoot the six ball in the side pocket. It's a little bit of it's a tough tight. shot, but he's he's lined up real nice on it, and he'll follow it for the deuce. He's calling it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is his strength is his shot making. Well, uh, once he gets past this shot, if he gets past this shot, when he gets past this shot, he'll have the deuce, and life is good. No problem. Mm-hmm. Just He's got the two and the seven, and the eight ball's kind of out in the open there. Yeah, he can check it or follow it. But if he follows it, he better he better come back up. A lot of times you follow the shot, and you're careful with it, and it doesn't come off that bottom rail. I think you can stick the key yeah, ball yeah, that's here. What I said. Use a little right English and throw that two to the left. Let's see. That's why I said you can check He's it or follow down. it. He's yes. going down yeah. and coming back up. 
And there you, you know go. What? This is exactly what I was talking with Josh about before this match started. I said, the ball does not roll as far as you think. It, it, the cue ball seems like it stops a little more quickly. And he even said the same thing. He said it rolls further on the outside tables. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Is it because of the heat of the lights in here? No, no. He, 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 it's because you're careful with the shot, and you're trying to be precise, and you don't turn your stroke loose. I don't think it's the, it's not the table. You did, so me. it's not the conditions? No, it's not the conditions, no. Uh, that, that Those shots, it's just a little bit of nerves or just a little bit of trying to be too perfect. And you don't really let go of your stroke. That's, in my opinion, that's what it is. I mean, when I do it, that's exactly what it is. Um, getting back to his Fargo rate, you know, he just he, he doesn't have enough games in the system. And you're perfectly right. He's got less than 200 games, and it's not established. So. Oh, you got to have more than 200 games yes. to be established. Yeah, I think I've heard that before. Meanwhile, uh, running out all the balls except one <laughs> ball and letting Josh <laughs> shoot. Oh, uh, that's a death sentence, isn't it? Yeah, Josh is at a big advantage right here. Yes. As long as the cue ball stops. <laughs> he didn't want to be Matt, up there, I don't think. Uh, yeah, but he's okay. I mean, he's going to handle it. Yeah, Matt is still in the learning stages of playing on these small tables, but he's a very capable player. He'll play this. Will he play it off the nine? Or just cut it straight in? I think he'll play it off the nine because he can control the cue ball much better. Let's see. Yeah, sure. Well, it didn't work out for him. I was about to say I'd, he should play it straight in because he's not quite 100% sure where that nine ball is going, and now he's created a little bit of a mess. Well, I think he can shoot this ball and slide over to the side rail and maybe get the nine next. That's what he wants to do. See? the nine. There's just a – boy, just he played room. that perfectly. He played that Laid perfectly. Laid it on the rail. Laid it on the rail so he can either stop it for the uh, 12 ball and come back for the 14. That's what he did. Yep. Yeah, there's no, if you see, if you try to draw that ball back past the 14, he might have uh, clipped it and uh, not been exactly in optimum optimum shape, I guess you might say. Big words. Where'd they come from? <laughs> they must have been on the pastry I had this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, Josh Roberts is making quick work of this rack. Oh, my, yes. And uh, he'll have game number one. We're racing and, uh, to nine. You know, Matt, Matt had game number one if he just stopped the cue ball dead. But it looked like it had just a slight angle, that ball that he followed. and uh, He just didn't hit it hard enough. Well, true, true. But this uh, is a this is a money match, too, because the winner of this match is in the top 12, top eight on the winner's side, top 12 overall, so they're in the money. Yeah. The, there was, they had a little bigger field, 63 players for this, as opposed to 52 in the 10 ball, and first prize a little bigger. Oh, the is first it? prize is 11,000. Oh, this okay. One. Well, those, uh, what is it, uh, 10 extra players or 11 extra players brought in that much more money. So, sure, they, uh, they shared the wealth, and uh, the players will, uh, will get the difference. Which is uh, always a good thing. They're, uh, they like they like that. They like that. Well, Matt's going to be breaking the balls. We'll take a look at his break uh, as opposed to Josh's. Josh hit him pretty. Sm he smacked him pretty nice, didn't he? Hit him good. Yeah, he hit him good and opened him up. Um, Matt has played in the World Cup of Pool, representing New Zealand. He's played in a couple World Championships. He told me one of his highlights was a couple years ago. He defeated Shane Van Boning in the World Championship. Wow. Well, there you go. That really speaks. That speaks a lot. He said he's won titles in New Zealand in every discipline: nine ball, eight ball, straight pool. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can bring him up here um, on the AZ uh, AZ Billiards leaderboard and take a look at at what might be going on with him. Uh, in the same, in the same for um, for Josh. I like that break. He, he hit that break that seems to be working, like medium speed, controlled break, pop the cue ball out to the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. Got a little jam up down at the bottom of the table there. Oh, boy. The 3, the 15. That's what he's looking at now, 3, 12, 15. I'm having a little trouble with this uh iPad this morning. 
trying to get my info real quick. Is it? Do you use a Wi-Fi connection yes. for that? I yes. Yes. I sure do. Oh, there's just nothing in there for him. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Nothing in there so for him. So he's taking stripes by shooting the four into the 13. He'll shoot the 10 ball. He can get those two balls down yeah. there. I think it's the 10 and the 11 ball. But the problem's going to be up table here. Yeah. Down on the bottom by the eight ball, he's got some mm -hmm. problems. He's got the 14 and 12 tied up. Right. 14 by 12 tied up yeah. with the three ball. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the 10. 15 ball out by itself there. He's going to have to find a way to break those up. Um, he's got a way. It's a little difficult, so he's not going to go that route. But um, it doesn't look like the 14 goes by the three. Nice camera work there. Doesn't uh, give us a chance. He's got to get a very good angle on the. F uh, on the fifth, on the f on the fifteen ball, yeah, to draw back into him. But that look at this, that I'm won't guarantee a shot. He's going, he's taking the eleven ball now. Because he might be going after those balls on the bottom. He did, and he's, he's not going to like it. I wonder if he can. That uh, ball was big. That ball yeah. was very big. There played big in, in 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 getting down there. He may have been trying to get a good angle on the f fifteen ball to come back right. for those two. He's going to play a safe here. I think he's just going to roll up against that fourteen ball. Just leave the cue ball oh, right here against the rail. That takes perfect speed. But that's going to allow um, Josh to play a safe back. He might be playing this ball past the ball. Wow, there. he did. He did, yeah. You know, <laughs> I didn't think it would go either. Well, he didn't. He played it, and he used it because it did kiss it. He used it the 15 would, yeah, ball. He used the 15 ball. Yep. Very, very high-level shot there. I yeah, mean, he was pretty creative yep. on that one. Yes, he was. You were looking at a safety. And as soon as you said that, I said, well, if he leaves him behind the three, he's going to, uh, Josh will use the three and get back up behind the one and, and, and uh, play a safety back. Double him up on the 114, the 115. Well, he's off to the races here, except that the eight ball uh, is is in between two balls and doesn't have a pocket. Yeah, kind of got doesn't tied have a up corner just pocket. now. He's, he's got, got tied up just now. Yeah. He's got two side pockets, but hard to get to. Small. He's thinking, he says, I want to save that 15 ball for last because that's the only ball I can use to get on the eight. And he can. He can just draw around here he's if he chooses. Forward. He's, he's going to He's going to go up into the five. Right there. He's going to go up into the five to get right where he needs to get uh, and, and complete the run. He opened up the eight. Now he can shoot that long shot on the ten. Uh, he might be cutting this 15 ball. He's close. It's no, I don't think so. I don't think he wants to shoot that. I think he's going to take the 10 and oh. opt to use the 15 last. And you are right. Awesome. Here we go. Well done. In the middle. It's done. Will he slide down for the 8 ball on the side, or will he come across for the 8 ball in the same pocket? That's yeah, what he's faced he's got with. Well, he, yeah, now he's looking at the side <coughs> pocket. That's why he's walking yeah. down here. There's two ways you can get on the eight for the corner pocket. He can follow it two rails, but he might bump the three, so that's a risk. Uh, and he can kind of force it off the rail to come over, and that's a risk. So let's see how he decides to play it. I think he's going to take the easiest route. Just go slow, just like this. Try to get straight on the eight in the side. The cue ball's a little bit closer to the rail than he'd like to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, that was not only the easier route, that was the higher percentage route, too. And these guys will play the percentages of a shot. This guy, is a, he's known as a good shot maker, yep. and he made that look easy. And made it look easy, nice, clean shot. I mean, nice, clean hit, no problem. And we're tied at one. Tied at one. It could easily be 2-0. We could, it, it could easily be 2-0. If he hadn't have made that tricky little shot along the, <laughs> along the bottom <laughs> rail there. Yeah, he just he needed to make that shot. Well, he made the shot. He just didn't come up off the rail for position. So um, he made it work anyway. That's off to the races here, and uh, they're on break. This is the first round of the day. We're in the second day of the U.S. Open Eight Ball Championship. We'll play down to our final six players for tomorrow. We've got five rounds of play today. I think we got a full five rounds tomorrow as well. We play at 10, 12, 33, 
530 and 8. Well, right now in, 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 in the arena, not in the arena, but in, in, the, in the hall here, you've got um, some see, good matches going on. got some great matches here. Uh, let's see, we're at uh, 10 a.m. We saw some great matches last night. You've got Rodney, uh, you got Rodney Morris playing uh, Jesse Bowman. Good match That's there. That's a great match. Jesse's right a there. great bar table yep. player. Mark Kane playing Vimos Foldis, and Vimo yeah. Vimos is having a nice little run right. here. He um, he's uh, he's bested. Um, let's see, Danny Smith, Sean Wilkie, and Scotter Woodward to get to where he's at. So he's played three tough, tough matches, and coming through. So the um, the West Coast player, because he's been living there and playing on that Mez tour, is doing a great job. Well, it just shows the depth of the field. Those names you mentioned. All right. Right, right. Shane Van Boning lost early in this tournament to Taylor Anderson. He he's on the loser side. He lost his first match to Taylor yeah. Anderson. Yeah. Well, he's still playing on the loser side. He's playing mm -hmm. right now. Oh, he'll. Uh, there's no counting him out. That's for darn sure. And Josh is looking at his um, his break. What did I do? Well, I'm going to start off with the one, and work my way through this. His key shot is probably the four ball. So he'll probably play the seven, five, six, deuce, and four. He's got no, no balls no. that are tied up. So everything's out in the open. It's, it's just a matter of working his way yeah. through this traffic. Yeah, he needs to work. He's probably going to play shape on the two ball here, or he's going to play the six ball. Sure, he's going to yeah. get the six Either ball way. out of the way because he's got position on it right mm -hmm. now. Well, he's got position on the five, and he wants to get to the two ball and then come back up for the five, the four, and the eight. Um, but that's he easy. wants to draw the cue ball back probably into the 12. Let's see. Yeah, he touched the 12. That's perfect. Is he going to play the four ball next or come down for the two? Probably the probably four. Probably the four, yeah, because yeah. it's there. And oh, I guess he can see the bottom side. I thought he had to shoot it to the left-hand corner because of the 11, but he doesn't have to shoot it down there. He's okay with that there. Yeah, he's going around He's going this around ball. it. Okay. He made this look easy. Mm-hmm. He's going to probably shoot the eight in the same side as Matt did. Just stop the cue ball right there. Kind of like that. Yep. Boy, that was a quick rack. Yes, it was. Did that take a minute? He didn't <laughs> touch any other ball other than the ones he hit. Didn't touch one of uh, Matt's uh, stripes. He just well, Josh right has got it. a lot more experience playing small table eight ball, let me tell you. <laughs> He's a strong player. And, uh, you know, he, yeah, he's also a strong player playing one pocket. Like you said, all games. All games. Well, he's, he, what he's modus, most noted for is his one pocket game. But mm -hmm. uh, he said, listen, I'll play any game. He said, I play nine ball. He said, well, I'll play bar <coughs> table eight ball. You know, if you're playing good one pocket or great one pocket, all the, all the games are easy for you. Not easy. Yes, yeah, so they're easy for you because you have all the skills. One pocket incorporates all of the different skills in, you know, like your billiards, uh, combos, speed control, uh, touch. It all, uh, it all transcends. You got to be able to do everything to play good one yes. pocket. Yep. I think all, I think all pool games help you with the other games. Correct. Even, even all billiard games. If you well, play three cushion billiards, it helps you in oh, pool. Take a look at Francisco. Take a look at uh, Efren. All the Filipinos. They play billiards. They play bulk line. Uh, you know, whether whether uh, just button balls or, or or taking these long three rail, four rail shots, five rail shots, it helps. helps the one game Josh says he hasn't played much of a straight point. I said, well, that's a good game to learn. <laughs> and that helps with breaking up cross clusters, which helps in one pocket because you learn to break them out. You know, just a couple balls at a time. You don't have to slam in there at 60 miles an hour to open them all up. Well, you also learn how, how balls interact with each other mm -hmm. when they're in packs. Mm -hmm. Kind of anyway, like a hunter. Josh Roberts has got a Open narrow two-to-one lead, and he's at the table. Matt Edwards failed to make a ball on that break. And that, uh, that leads to Josh coming to the table. A little combo on the 4-3, but he's got the 2-6 the tied up at the bottom of the table. I got a feeling he's going to take the stripe balls. Well, the only problem he might have, and he'll take care of right away, is he'll play the 12, 14, 
and that's his problem ball because the nine leads to the eleven to open it up, and everything opens up from there. He better bump this ball. Ooh, I, thought okay. was, I thought he was going to go into it and lay up once against it. Once again, George, the cue ball seems to stop a little more quickly on this table. Hmm. It doesn't roll as far. I've watched matches on the outside, and the ball's rolling a little bit more out there. Yeah, it was funny. I hit some balls last night on the, on the tables out there, and I hit the ball. It just kept rolling forever. I couldn't control it. <laughs> I'm just kidding because I haven't played. Uh, but uh, I couldn't control it anyway. I was just making a, a bad joke. Don't uh, be so humble. Yeah. We know you play good. <laughs> no, no, no. Beware of George Taya. 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 No, Taya. Beware of him. I've uh, had 20 guys come up and ask me for action. Yeah. Well, you're taking guys. all their names and phone numbers, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, so when they come on the stream, I can I can blast them. <laughs> all right, now it gets tricky right here. Well, does he come down for the combo? Yes, and he because uh, he's got a ball in front of the pocket, and it's easy to make. He would uh, like to have gotten a little higher so he could right. move the eleven. Right. But yeah, uh, this he is came down a little too far. Because if he could just brush the eleven, it'd open it up. Let's see what he comes up with here. He's got to come into it. I don't think he can. No, it doesn't. He's got. He has to move it. This and is, this is where it's going to get. Yeah, this is the key awkward. shot right here. If he make, he, he, he executes this, he's out. He, uh, he's got to move the ball, and that, he, that's all he could do. It's going to hurt him. Look at that. Yeah, that's all that's he could do is just try to move yep. those balls around. It did not work out yeah. well for him. Matt Edwards moves in his chair. He says, "Ha! Huh, I get to come back to the table." Yeah, I might be coming back here unless uh, you know he makes uh, something I I, I I can't understand. He's going to come up and try to get right up against the eleven, or get underneath it. Oh, yeah, he'll be played safe here all day long. That was not a bad safety, actually. But, yeah, but uh, he's got Matt. Could, Matt's got a lot he can do. He can play the seven and get over behind the four three one and play him safe. So if he fails to execute the shot, he's still going to be safe. He can go two ways at it. So even though Josh has made six of his seven balls and Matt's got a full yeah. table of seven, Matt is at big advantage now. So he's going upstream. No matter where he leads him up there, he's pretty much got him safe. Yes, he didn't even bother getting all the way over because he doesn't have much of a shot even if he leaves him there. Well, it's a good thing he made that ball because I think that, that 11 ball would bank. To where? Up in the corner. The left-hand side? Yeah. I think it, it, it's you tight. Know, it might be might there. You're, you're but right. Anyway, it might be as there. It, it's a moot point now since Matt made that ball. But uh, Well, I think that's just an, that, that, that tells us his uh, ball mate. He's very confident of his ball-making skills because he played that ball with no intention of trying to cover up or going two ways. He's also got a problem with the 11 ball because it's got the 6 tied up. Yeah, but so at some point he's going to break that. Probably he'll use the 2 ball mm -hmm. to break that out. Now, and I think he'll leave the 1 ball there for insurance. He might break it up right here. Again, he's new yeah. to this game, so his strategy might vary a little bit mm -hmm. from what we see. Yeah, he'll, get closer, he'll get closer to his work for the 2 ball to break out the 11. Maybe like right now. Like right now. He's pretty straight, but he's he's fine. As long as he hits the top of the six and into the 11. Oh, he's perfect. That's a nice, nice, nice angle. Oh, he's. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. He hit it hard enough so that cue ball came back mm -hmm. off the end rail. And uh, I'm not sure the five ball goes by the eight, so he's going to have to shoot the six, the one, the five, and the eight. Well, oh, he it goes by. He might, it he goes by. might shoot the six and then the five down in the corner. Correct. Let's well, the see. other corner. That's what I said. Uh, Right up. No, he's taking the one. Mm -hmm. The one, then the five to the opposite corner, so it doesn't. It's not tight quarters going by the eight, and he's straight in on the eight. Now he's looking at shooting the five, but I, I, I I'm with you. I like shooting the one here and uh, then the five. Playing the one ball out of the side pocket is for position. Uh, for position is tougher than playing the five ball for position on the eight. Just gonna draw back. Mm -hmm. like Just a that. little. That'll work. And this will tie it back up again, keeping everything on an even keel where the breaker has uh, has taken uh, taken his game. Race to nine. Very solid player, Matt Edwards. 
Out of Auckland, New Zealand. Auckland. Sure, that's not Oakland, California. <laughs> it sounded like it when he said it. Uh, Do you well know done. New Zealand is, is a country in geographical size about the same size as Japan. Mm -hmm. Population, 4 million people. It's like very sparsely populated. He said, but a lot of people are coming there now. Yes, they are. They, they, well, it's, it's a paradise. From what I've seen, uh, it's very scenic. Have uh, you been there? No, 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 no. I, the only place I've been abroad is Spain. And uh, other than that, for the most part, I've traveled to Mexico. And I went into Canada once, but I haven't traveled much. So, no. Uh, I'd, love to, I'd love to visit New Zealand, and I haven't ever been there myself. It's on the bucket list. New Zealand's kind of out there in the Pacific all by itself. Mm -hmm. If you look on a map, it looks like it's relatively close to Australia, and it's actually about 1,500 miles <laughs> away from Australia. Uh, I know that uh, because of where it is and, you know, being an island. Um, a large island. A large island, yeah. It, it doesn't have, uh, is it snakes it doesn't have? That I don't know. There's something that New Zealand doesn't have. That other, other, you know, everybody else does. Well, that'll make a lot of girls happy if there's no sakes there. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of guys aren't happy because they can't jump in their arms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or they won't. They won't go eek and jump in your arms. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> My mind I works suspect, crazy. I suspect that, a, that uh, an island nation that's isolated like that probably has a lot of life forms that you don't find anywhere else on the planet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, here's Josh breaking the balls. His life form is, I want to win. Ball down. Making balls. Ball down. Two balls down. Once again, it's an open table. If you make a mm -hmm. ball on the break, you can take either stripes or solid. And the other, the other part of that puzzle is you can also, for instance, right here, if he chose to, he could shoot the six ball into the 14, calling the 14, and now he has stripes by hitting a solid first. We're watching Which our referee, John Lehman, remove that magic rack very carefully. How do you like his little ball placement tool? Yeah, good. I'm sorry I interrupted you there. You no, that's okay. No, I, just, I just explained uh, how uh, in BCA you can uh, hit the, uh, a solid into a stripe to make it only on the opening shot. You cannot do that with the eight. And actually a good question came up uh, yesterday by Thorsten Holman where he said, what if I break the balls and I'm up against the rail behind the eight and I can't hit any other ball can I play safe off the eight you know like nudge the eight and hit the rail and I uh, I didn't hear the answer but that is a, a valid uh, I think valid you can. question I think you can but anyway let's let's see what Josh can come up with here he made that nice long shot mm. on the first strike ball he wants to move the nine ball here off the ten I don't think he has the angle to I do it. I think the nine will go in the same corner oh. pocket as a ten, yeah. though. Yes, yeah, it sure, does. it's sure. got room. Sure. So he just comes back for it if he wants it. But he will have to move the eight. No, he didn't get back for the nine. He'll, he'll readdress. Yeah, the eight's really got no date. pocket. Yeah, I think when he shoots the nine, he'll be down by right about where his hand is so he can have an angle to open it up. Get that 14 out of mm -hmm. the way. Well, he's left himself a long shot here. Oh, is he playing the, he's gotta play the 15 ten. in the side off the one? Oh, he wants to open that side pocket up. That's what it is because oh. that's where he wants to make the 8. It would go up in the corner because the 11 ball won't be there anymore. Oh, he shot so it. Now, yeah, see, the, he's opening it up right here with, a, with an insurance shot on the 11. He left himself an, an angle on the 9 ball. This will move yep. the 8 out into the middle of the table. Just wants to make sure he's got room to make this 11, which he did. Very mm -hmm. well done. Mm -hmm. Very, You could see that he really understands 8-ball on a small table. Mm -hmm. He eight knew exactly what he was doing all the way. 8-ball on a small table, the less you move that cue ball, the better off you probably are. Well, he's moved it quite a bit, this wreck. Now he's uh, got a little... He, he didn't it. like this. He didn't no. like being jacked up on the 8-ball. No. He didn't like coming all the way over. He liked to be like 10 inches over to the right. See that? He's got a cue right over the top of the mm. five. This is it a tough shot. Yeah, it makes it about twice as hard. 
He's pretty steady, though. Ooh, he missed it. It, it looked like he was going to when he was wow. lined up on the ball. It looked a little bit wow. a little bit funny. And I don't know if it was the angle of the camera or, um, you know, it actually looked funny. Well, you saw something I didn't see because it looked like he got down on it pretty solid. He, he didn't waste a solid, lot of time. But, but being over the ball, I, th I think it was the angle of the camera. Nonetheless, Matt Edwards has got a chance to take the lead in the match. And this will be a mini break for him, won't it? And everything's there. It would take a un an unforced error by Matt not to get out here. I think he'll make short work of this. Uh, he'll go from the, the seven to the three, the one, the four, the six, and he's out. Well, he doesn't even have to shoot now. <laughs> You called a ball. Oh, I didn't. I <laughs> it's uh, that's uh, that's the direction my navigational system gave me. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Googled it. <laughs> is is there an app that that, that uh, you can Google bank shots or something like that? Isn't isn't there something new that that uh, it shows it up? Uh, and, and Cubit, Cubit, or something. something I, I forget yeah, what it is. I thought I saw something thing. about that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, there's a little app that you can put on your iPhone, and uh, it shows you the angle uh, to make it to for bank shots. Draw back and forth. He's going to draw to the side, mm -hmm. reeling back out. Well done. And he gets the mini break. First, first mini break. Jones He'll just kicking himself for missing that eight ball. But wow. really, what happened is he got bad position. He, got he let that cue ball roll too far there. And he had to elevate and an uncomfortable bridge on the on on the rail. This is an important match. This is a money match and puts you in the final eight on the winner's side. Which, of course, will put you on the final 16. And uh, they're paying... Final 12. If you're in the final eight on the winner's yeah, side, right, you're right. in the final 12. Because you have to come come over for the on the one loss side. Yep. Well, here we go. Matt Edwards to break the balls. To going for a two-game lead in a race to nine. He'll be half, almost halfway there. Well, is four halfway to nine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, close enough, I think. Because there's not a half. You can't win by a half game. We've seen some twists and turns in these eight oh, ball matches we, already. Though, haven't we, though? We watched yeah. a, a match. I think we had a match last night uh, with Thorsten Homan. And it um, he actually won the match. But on an out, he had a little... Uh, shot for the side pocket and then an eight ball next and I don't know what happened but he missed the ball and it's a ball that 99.9% .9 of the players would never consider missing and he he turned red fortunately it was early enough that he could come back but well that I've seen uh, George yeah. I'll tell you in, in, in my career uh, as an announcer and as a tournament director I've seen every oh, great sure. player miss Hangers. Yeah, that's pretty just much a loss of concentration. Pretty much what he now did. Now look at this break shot. He made a ball on the break, but one ball is down table. It's like he he hit him a little bit too soft, maybe. Yeah, they couple, just didn't open up. A couple balls came back, but yes, you're right. Uh, there's only one way up there, and everything. See these rack, the a rack like this. If you find if you find the key to it, they're they're I don't want to say easy to run. They're a joy to run. Because when you complete it, you feel like you just went through a maze, and it's just it's just fun fun to run a rack like this. Well, you're gonna have fun to and really tough. you're gonna have to really control your cue ball That's to run exactly, this rack. Exactly. There's a the problem ball that I see if he takes stripes, which I suspect he will, is that 15 ball, which is on top of the six. That's one he's gonna have to contend with pretty soon. 15 ball on top of the six. I can't see it with uh, Matt in the way. Can we get him to move? Okay, he yeah, will. He'll move right now. <laughs> see, there's a 15 up by the six and the eight ball. 
Now, how many how many sports do we have where the players wear a shirt with their name on the back of it? I like it. I like yeah. it. Well, that's that ultimate team gear. Mm -hmm. And you know that's great uh, for 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 the, for the national championships here in Las Vegas because uh, this lets all the amateur players know who that is. Matt yeah. Edwards from New Zealand is and what it says on the back. That's exactly what it says. He's he telling uses you a who Mez he is. Q. He he said his sponsors, his basic sponsors, are Mez Q and Kamui Tips. Mm. Well, he's looking at uh, the combo. The ten. Oh no, we started off with a. Did he make a solid? His first shot. No stripe. Stripe. Well, you could shoot the ten into the nine, or you can shoot the eleven in the side. See, he's a little unsure. He's a little unsure. Well, this is. He's shooting the ten ball into the thirteen. Looks like it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he, that was his opening. Uh, that's what he lined up to originally, and then he kind of changed his mind a little bit, and that's probably why. Um, does this uh, 14 ball go by the one? That's kind it of looks a tight fit, but I think it fit. would go. Uh, it looks like it might. He's leaning back and taking a look at well, it. For his sake, it better because that's pretty much all he has to shoot. And that's, there's some great camera work by John there. Well, he started to open he's those He's in trouble. Up. Oh, no, he's got the 10. I thought he's he was. He's got the 10? Yeah, he, I, thought, I thought he was in trouble. He, couldn't, he got behind balls. And You're right. He's yeah, got he's a little got window right there. He's got there. a little window. I thought for sure he was stuck. Key balls he has snuggled has he up right it? against that 15 ball. He just now sees it. Uh, he's walking a little more confidently now, isn't he? <laughs> he kind of slumped there for a second. And then once he saw he had a shot on the 10 ball, he kind of like, oh, picked up his pace. Well, the good news is he kind of opened that 15 ball up. Mm-hmm. He still has to get to it, though, because it's a little tight. See, he's, he's still struggling with the patterns on this small table. I'm not sure where he intends to go with that 15. He has to move the three ball. Or get on the get on the twelve straight in for the corner pocket and then play it up table and just stop the cue ball where the twelve is. Well, I think he's going to shoot the twelve now. Yes. Yeah, he's got a tall order here because he, he um, if he doesn't if he's not able to get to the fifteen ball now, he's going to have to get on the eleven and then run the cue ball to a position you know very very small landing area. I wonder if he's trying to if he's going to try to draw back and and nudge that six ball a little bit it's gonna because then he would have it he would have a shot wow yeah. he's 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 taking his time here this is a a real precarious part of this rack for him if he draws this ball he's going to hit the right side of the six and go up not into the yeah. 15 he's got to create something yeah, right does. now he didn't even try that and he uh, he's over he's overshot it. Well, I think he could still shoot the eleven uh, ball. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. He's I leaning to to look at that. It looks like he can. So this. Yes, Boy, he, he can. Wow. Uh, he can bear. This is tight. This is so tight. This is one of those minute fractions of inch that may have gone his way. Uh, what's he going to do with it? It's very tight. What's he going to do with the 15? Well, he's he can make it. He can, he can cheat it a little bit. He's got an angle to draw right into the three. His angle leads to the three ball with good draw shot, but it's tight shot. I'm not sure about yeah, that. Yeah, it's a very, very tight shot. These are the kind of shots that you get down on, and you think you can see him. You have no choice but to shoot him. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. And you have no choice but to shoot him, and you hit the ball. You clip the ball going in. And there's a shot. Well, he's going to try to shoot the 15 off the 6, I believe. No, I think he'll shoot it straight in. Can he see enough of it to cut it? Yes. I believe so. You might be right. His, his, only, his only concern is he's going to hit the 8 ball towards that corner pocket. You're yeah. right. He can, he can see it. Now we got the camera angle. We can see that he can yeah. see enough of that 15 to cut it in. But you know well, he'd like to he'd like to bump the eight towards the pocket, but <laughs> make sure you don't make it. <laughs> That's right. Make sure you That's don't right. make it, buddy. He's concerned about it. 
Nicely, nicely done. He's yeah, left himself badly, a big, big badly. cut here. This is a severe cut on this eight ball. He's tall enough to be able to reach this shot handily. You know, you know, George, it I looked to me like he was scrambling throughout that rack, and this is the end result of that. Mm -hmm. Is that? Yeah, when you scramble. Can uh, he cut this ball in? Is, can he? He's going to try. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. This would be. Here's where height makes a difference, especially on seven-foot tables. Oh, I he made them both. That's the first he time I've seen it both. this tournament. The first yeah. time. First time I've seen it this tournament. Uh, it's a gimme win for Josh Roberts. Well, Matt Maybe was it, Matt was struggling throughout that mm -hmm. rack, and he paid the penalty at the end on the last shot. Correct. Now keep in mind, in BCA, had he not made the eight ball, he does not lose the game if he scratches. Right. Right. Uh, only Josh would get ball in hand. Right? That's correct. Yeah. Josh would get ball in hand. So um, that works out for Josh. For Matt, not so much. Tied at three games apiece. It's a race to nine. The winner gets Francisco Bustamante next. <laughs> That's not really much of a reward, is it? <laughs> no, but it's something to look forward to. Who doesn't want to play Francisco? You know, Francisco Bustamante. He's a pleasure to play. Let me, let me ask you something, and maybe you know. I noticed on the board he won his last match against Lee Brett, and it was a forfeit. I don't know anything I no about that. I have no idea why. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't either. Uh, I s I, in fact, I met Lee Brett uh, night before last for the first time and uh, uh, saw him yesterday, you know, walking towards one of his matches. But uh, uh, I don't know anything about. It's uh, the only forfeit I see on the whole board. On the winner's side? Yeah, it's the third round on the winner's side, which is surprising mm -hmm. that there would be a forfeit there. Oh, my God. Josh just sent the cue ball off the table. <laughs> you know, the funny thing he is. He overamped a little bit. <laughs> I, I, I've never broken the balls with a magic rack. I've never used a magic rack for eight ball. I've used it for ten ball and nine ball. And last night I came to the table and, you know, I wanted to hit some balls. The short short story is I used them. I set up the magic rack to see what these guys were doing. That's exactly what I did. Mm. <laughs> I sent that cue ball flying off the table. If you come <laughs> off the side <laughs> of the head ball, that can happen. You got to make sure you make a good center ball hit. Yeah. Meanwhile, Matt has got ball in hand. Let's see if he can atone for his mistake in the last rack. Atone and make up at the same time. Yeah, atone's a good word. Only I, I, w I always uh, uh, think of atonement with uh, religious purposes. Well, <laughs> we're worshiping pool today. That's true. It's Sunday. It's su it is Sunday. We morning. are in the at the Church of Pool. Uh, let's see. You have to understand. Uh, I have a. I, I always kid people when they say, "Oh, uh, I'm having bad luck." Uh, God didn't help me with this shot or whatever I'm praying for. And I said, <laughs> God has nothing to do with this game. It's the devil's game. <laughs> well, have it's you ever heard of the pool gods? I pray I've to them that, a lot. Yes. <laughs> and what's one of the commandments? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keep the cue ball on the table is the first commandment. <laughs> don't scratch. That's correct. Yeah. The first commandment of pool, yeah, don't scratch. That's uh, a mortal uh, sin. He opted to take solids. Here we go. He's got, uh, he can save the one ball for his key shot. He can also save the seven ball for his key shot. I'm not so sure that Matt Edwards is, is going to do what, what we think is optimum. Oh. I, think he, I think he sees the table a little differently than we I, do. I'm just throwing out some options. Right. <laughs> and he's already looked at them. As he is, he just he is did right not, now. He's not a seasoned player on these small tables, and he admitted to that. He said it's the second time I've ever played on a seven-foot well, table. Well, he's he's won two matches. and um, You see, he's going for this one already. Well, exactly. Uh, that's why I said he had, he had a choice. It's actu and actually, that's a smart shot because he, 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 he can't get a great angle to stop it for the eight if that's his key shot, and he's going to have to slide down, and he could slide down too far. So he's You're not actually allowed to change off. your mind now, George. No, 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 no. I said, <laughs> I said the seven or the one. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And that's I'm uh, teasing you, George. I thought it's he okay. might shoot that ball and then the one, then the six, then the seven, and he's out. Yeah. And well, um, 
What I've seen so far of Matt Edwards is he's going to fool us. He's going to go. He's going to go his own way. Either one of these balls, he might be better off shooting the seven first. No, no, he's got a perfect angle. He's just going to bring it back a little bit. Oh, he can follow because I think it goes on the right side too. Goes to either corner pocket. See if I if I if I give enough options. He's he's sliding behind the eight here. Okay. Just like that. If I if I give enough options, I never call it wrong. <laughs> I can say, oh, yes, I said that. <laughs> and actually, I'm not doing it for that purpose. And Matt's going back into the lead, four to three. Yeah, I just think he could be three games ahead. If he hadn't scratched on the eight ball. If he completes that last shot, he's three games ahead. In a race to nine. Meanwhile, he's ahead four to three. He's still got a long ways to go in this match. I got a feeling we're going to see some bumps in the road for both players. Mm-hmm. And I think the pressure will tighten up. Their collars will tighten up a little bit, you think? Well, Josh is a pretty seasoned player. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he can handle the pressure just fine. Yeah, there's a good look at, uh, at that mess cue that uh, Matt plays with. Nice leather wrap on it. It um, looks like it's, is that ebony or is that kind of a purplish, is that Coca-Cola or Purple Heart? Boy, looks I nice. Can't I can't it looks tell nice. on the screen. But yeah. As I look at it, it looks redder than it does on the screen. Probably Coca Bowl, because mm -hmm. that's a popular wood that mm -hmm. these cue makers are using today. I have two cues in my case. I have three cues that I own, uh, and they're all Sneaky Pete Coca Bola with birds on with um, with maple. Matt's nice caught. Look. Matt's caught on to the break on the rail. Yesterday I saw him playing, and he had his hand out on the table. Now he's on the rail. So mm -hmm. he's, that means he's observing the other players. Mm -hmm. He's watching what they're doing. Well, I think the only player we've seen that breaks uh, with his hand on the on the bed was Thorsten, isn't it? Yep. But he's I, not the I only one that does it, but he's no, the only one we've seen on the TV correct. table so far. the only one I recall that I've seen. Nice break there. Probably Matt's best break of the match right there. He got a good spread on the balls. I think he did like to get solids, but to get solids, he'd have to start with the one ball. Yeah, that's a pretty straight in shot, pretty basic. But you know, he could take stripes because that, that 14 ball will go off. He can the also, yeah, but yeah, he's taking let me interrupt you. He can also play the three ball into the four or the six off the three, you know, with the carom. Yeah, so well, he, I'm saying he, if he took the stripes, he, he right. could play the 14 off, the, off that, what is it, that seven ball up there by the side pocket. Mm. <laughs> but let's see. He's calling the four ball. Yeah, he's taking solids. Yeah, he'll make two balls with one shot here. Oh, he wants to make the three and yes. the seven. Mm -hmm. And the, the I mean the yeah, four and the He's going to open seven. it all up. That's yeah. right. Yep. yep. I think he can this, shoot this the five now. Yep. I think he this opened shoot. up completely. Yeah. It's perfect. He yeah, can shoot he the shoots five. The five. That's, the, that's his last problem ball. Mm. <laughs> that's his only problem ball. That's not really a problem from where he is. No. And handle these two, then the one. That's going to be a this costly a foul by Josh Roberts. I wonder if he'll play the three. Well, no, he wouldn't do that. I was going to say, play the three, then get to the one, and then play the uh, the six. But no, he'll uh, no, no, he'll no, get no. position on the one so he can slot. So he can, well, heck, the eight ball goes to either corner. Well, so whatever we think, he'll probably do something different. No, I no. Mean, based on his style of play, I'd say he'll take those two balls right there and use the one last. Correct. See, at first I didn't think the eight ball went by the 12. So I thought he was going to have to come to the right side of the table for position, uh, which made the one ball a little bit trickier for a, for a last shot. He's going to go but two rails yep, out and shoot the one on the side. On the left little side. Little right English. Right. Little right English. Here on we go. On the left side, right. He's perfect. Better run. Better this run. is good speed. Better run. Better this run. is good okay. speed. He's all right. Well, he's going to have – it did stop a little sooner than mm -hmm. I thought. Mm -hmm. He'll probably go down table and come back up. Yeah. Avoid the 11, come straight down. But the – Ooh. Avoid the 11 and come straight down. He did not he hear you. He doesn't listen to instruction. <laughs> he does not take <laughs> instruction well. Well, this is where his uh, shot-making ability is going to come in. It better. Notice, this notice he didn't waste a lot of time here, George. Yeah, he took one look at it. And it's a spot shot. You know, a lot of players are very confident with spot shots, but they play deceivingly harder than you think. Ooh, Thus you is know, that, that ball skidded like a little bit. Just like that. 
Yeah. That ball skidded a little bit. Um, it, it, it did appear to. Yeah. Yeah. See, spot shots, I mean, for some reason, players like that, I don't know if they practice them. I used to. But um, Matt, Matt is shaking his head. Yeah. He said, what happened there? But really what happened was he played bad position. He, from the he one bumped the 11. Yeah. He bumped the ball. First of all, he didn't go far enough to get position on the one. Correct. And then from the one to the eight, he had a lot of room to come up table. Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> you really called that one. You said just <laughs> avoid the 11 ball, and boy, he ran right into yeah, it. Yeah, that was uh, that was unfortunate. Shoot this but off the 14. That was, uh, you Shoot know. it off the 14. That's what he wanted to do. Perfect. You know, shots like that, you, th you say to yourself, that was unfortunate. No, that was careless. Going to the quadrant there, that left part of the table, and there's only one ball. Uh, it's off limits. In golf, it's called out of bounds. <laughs> 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 you don't want to go out of bounds. Even though a spot shot's a pretty standard shot, he was shooting a long shot there. It was, yeah, it was. Um, I guess the eight ball was, maybe it was right on that spot. It was on the it, spot. It did skid just it was a on little the spot. bit. It was on the spot. Now, see, this is a big. He just draws this back on the 14. I mean, on the 15. And that, oh, he's playing the 14 first. No, he's not. He's playing the right ball. I thought he might draw back for the for the 14. He is right but he's now. Yeah, he is now. Boy, Josh is loading up. He's going. He's going two rails around for the 14. Oh no, he's he slid it back up straight that up. way. I'm kind of surprised he went that route because he could have drawn back and shot it up in the other corner. A lot of players don't like to. I personally don't like to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't like shooting, cutting the ball down the rail uh, on the wrong side of the side pocket. And I don't want to cross the side pocket close to the rail. Well, that ball was a half inch off the no, rail. Correct. All I know about those kind of shots, what I've seen uh, in, in my life, is that if you get close to the ball, it's a real easy shot. Yes, yes. And I, he I had I the agree. right angle to do that, but he opted to go that way, mm -hmm. maybe because the eight was there and he knew he had a sideboard. But he had to hit it pretty hard to get above it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is a good match. We're tied at four. I mean, we haven't been more than a game apart. We've had opportunities to be three games apart, but we haven't been more than a game apart. And usually when you let somebody like Josh Roberts or pretty much let any player hang around, they can hurt you. You don't want to, you know, when you're playing an opponent. <coughs> excuse me. When you're playing an opponent and you have the opportunities to put them away, drive that sword, drive that sword. We got a little break a little here. Smoke break here, so we'll be right back. We'll take care of uh, the smoke break and uh, a coffee break for me to get my throat cleared. All right, <laughs> a couple minutes time out here.
Here we go. We got our players back. And we're back in the booth. Jay Helfert and George THA bringing the action live to you from the Predator Arena at the Real. How come I don't have a good name like THA? Because you have a good name like Helfert. I mean, it's on uh. two books, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> My name isn't on two books. <laughs> By the way, I haven't read your books. I have, I ha have to admit that. I have yet to read them. I think I got one for you. Don't worry. It better darn well be autographed. Okay, you got <laughs> it. You got it. Thanks. Um, but uh, John Lehman hadn't had to do much except remove that wreck. I don't think he's been called out there to watch one shot yet. Well, these guys, it's been pretty open for both. And uh, they're both, you know, steady players. There's, uh, they're calm. Their, you know, posture at the table is excellent. They just, you know, Good look sports, around. too. Good, Good sports. sports. Yeah, exactly. Not, not nobody's trying to shark There's anybody. No here. They're not talking to each other. They're uh, both respectful players, and I like that. Yep. Pretty sure that if one filed, he'd call it on himself. He's playing a combination. Open this rack. Playing the two into the six. Take solids. Made that. Didn't come up with two. Well, he's, he can shoot the shot. one down shoot in the, the corner. One in the corner. Yeah. I don't think that's the ball he was playing for, but that's mm. the one he's going to have to take. Mm-hmm. This rack doesn't really look too bad here, George. No, it doesn't. Once he uh, he still has to do something here because he, he he really can't do too much. He's too close to the ball to yeah. really put a what's stroke gonna, on the ball. What's he going to take next? The four yeah, I mean, he'd like to go forward. Let's see if he going go forward could be trying. a problem. But well, he's trying. This can be called a push. Let's well, let's by see. some players, but he hit he that very good. well. Oh, no, he hit it good, but uh, you you have to be careful with that stroke. Well, he's a professional. That <laughs> is very true. But see, this is why shots like that concern me, because I am not. <laughs> and he's come down. He's he's going to have to take the two ball next. I guess if he could be in a, ba a bad place, that would be it. It's not a bad place, but that's as bad as he could have done with that shot. Well, it looks to me like he can take the two, and if he gets around that 14 ball, he'll go all the way, or the 15 ball, go all the way. Oh, it's a 14. Go all the way down table and take the seven. He'll down. miss the 14. He'll he'll come yeah. he'll come between the 14 and the rail, or he might just uh, stun it up with a uh, withdraw and not even bring it no, into play. I think he's going forward here, off yeah, the right, right like there. you said. Mm -hmm. This will work. Right on up. This will yep. work. Four ball next, and it's Quaintance. We're playing a race to five now. Quaintance foiled again. Looks like he's drawing back for this ball. He did. He's got the option of shooting in the corner or in the side. Really, it's whichever he prefers here to get position for the eight. He's going all the way down in the corner. Just let the cue ball slide off the rail like that. Eight in the corner for the win and a 5-4 lead. This is the first time Josh has led. Other than the opening, I think he won the opening game. And um, but then Matt tied him, and we've gone back and forth, back and forth. Has any, I don't think anybody's had a two-game lead. No, not yet, no. Opportunities, but not, not not the lead. Not more than one game. They're one game apart. They've been on serve the whole time. And uh, this is the first time that Josh um, lunges ahead. By one game. Is that a lunge or a step? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a lunge or a step? I, I was thinking about that myself. <laughs> <laughs> See, I question my own mind. <laughs> For those of you up there uh, that are watching in your rooms in the hotel, wake up. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? We just get out one of those. Is it a foghorn? <laughs> to get them yeah, off. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, uh, that's a nice thing here at the Rio Hotel is that you can watch in the room. I think it's channel 25. Correct. And you can watch these matches. Yep. The lot you can watch the them live. In comfort of your room. You can watch them live and uh, you can also watch the replay in between matches. You know, we had a great uh, a Alex Pagalion yesterday uh, since the first match was forfeited on the live stream. Uh, he played the Hansons, that 13-year-old 13 13 boy. Scotch the Scotch doubles champions. Scotch doubles champions, yeah, the platinum division. 
and it was a nice, nice show. Alex was extremely gracious and uh, play, playing them, and uh, it was a learning experience for them and a fun time for anybody that got to watch it. And actually, they were very competitive. Yeah, they are. Look at though. this they break shot. Look good. at this break shot. All the balls are way out in the open except four balls in a line right there by the spot. Well, those four, four balls got together and said, let's make John have a hard time getting the rack off. <laughs> The good thing is, those balls will go, though. Yes. Yes, they're, they're, they're not really a problem anywhere, except for the eight. The eight doesn't go anywhere. That's a pretty impressive break shot right there. Looks like a drill <laughs> on yeah. the top part. He's going to address his problems right away. He's taking the three, the one, seven, and then go up, uh, go up table. He's just going to handle uh, any situations immediately. Didn't he want a little bit of an angle there to, well, he's probably to break the that seven. seven out? He's going to play the seven. He's got a shot. Oh, he's playing. Yeah, he's playing the seven ball oh, right now. Oh, there yeah. is enough room it to goes shoot it. He's got enough room. Yeah. Now you yeah, he's fine. Instead of playing the one seven, he played the seven one. Correct. Now, if he had the angle lower, he would have played the one and come back for the seven. But uh, there was no issue. All solids have pockets. You could easily say to yourself, I'm home free, uh, but you shouldn't. Yeah, look what happened the last time. Exactly. When it looked like he was home yeah. free. Exactly. He kind of stumbled at the goal line. Well, he kind of uh, ran into some mud. <laughs> and then, you know, he's he actually he's run into some mud twice now. That shot there where he ended up with that steep cut right. and then the spot shot. Right. Yeah. Is that spot shot? That was a long spot yeah. shot. It was a long spot was shot, but, but you made a good point. It did look like it skidded, and it might have made the, it may have made the difference. If he'd uh, have been closer to it, he wouldn't have to worry about correct. that. Correct. Meanwhile, can uh, he complete these last three balls? Well, this wreck. He's got to come through two two win one of two windows. Yeah, he's got a little traffic to yeah. negotiate right now. And and if he comes through the wind, if he comes between the ten and the eleven. The steeper the angle, the harder the position. It's not really, really tough position, but it's speed. I think he's going the careful way. He he's going to bump the 10. He's perfect. He's okay. But he still, see, he still has a steep cut. Can he just slow roll this I don't ball? think so. I think he's got to come back up for it. We'll see. Looks like he's trying to shoot a little stop shot here. A little kill shot. Let's take a look. No, he's got to come back up. See? And that's where he can get in trouble. Uh, he got in trouble. He, he got there. He got in trouble on another game just like right. that. Remember, he didn't, exactly. he didn't he come fell up. short. He fell short. This time he's fine. No, he's perfect. We're going to stay tied at five. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Matt is breaking the balls. No, no, Josh breaks. Josh breaks? Josh Matt breaks on the even oh, games. okay. That's correct. Remember that opening lag where Josh got it down close to the end rail and, and Matt was like three diamonds away? Hey, no, look. He went past <laughs> the side pocket. That's a good lag. <laughs> <laughs> for who? <laughs> uh, I forget who I was playing one time, and we both lagged. Chris Paradowski in Tucson, Arizona. And we lagged, and we both barely got past the side pocket. That's embarrassing. <laughs> it was. It was so embarrassing. I think my worst lag, I <laughs> lagged and scratched. <laughs> I did. I lagged, and the ball went into the corner yeah. pocket. Uh, that's That's funny. I think that's as embarrassing as lagging and not getting past the side pocket. No, I think that's less embarrassing. Uh, but uh, anyway, here we are. U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. Josh Roberts, Matt Edwards. And a whole host of the best players in the world in mm -hmm. this tournament. Uh, let's, let's, let's name off some names. Who's here? Well, Rodney Morris just lost... Uh, Jesse Shane Bowman. Van Boning, Alex Pagalion, Francisco Bustamante. And it goes on from there. Mitch Ellerman, Mike DeShane, Billy Thorpe, John Mora. All good players. Max Everly, Jason Klatt, Jesse Bowman. Uh, how about some more? Tommy Tokoff is here from Houston. Thorsten Homan. Louis International Chuang. field. International Louis field. Chang, is it? Yeah. How do you say his name? Louis Chang? Let's see who we're looking at here. Oh, Lu, Lu, Lu Chuang. Lu Chuang. Lu Chuang. 
and Corey Duels here too. In fact, they met they met in the first match. John's going to have to mark a ball here to remove Justin this magic wreck. Justin Bergman. Justin Bergman. Rosigo hit on him. Let me tell you something. Edgy. This is a very strong field. <laughs> Vying for the eleven thousand dollar first prize. It's the U.S. Open. Yeah, should be a strong field. Ike Reynolds is here. Brandon Shop. Ike Reynolds is a very good eight ball player. Oh yes, he's a, he's what you might call an eight ball specialist in a one pocket, right? Eight ball in one pocket. That's yeah. it. Lee Brett from England. From England. Shane McMinn, Rob Sias, Francisco Bustamante. <laughs> How's that? I like the way you said it. Yeah. And then. These two right here, Josh Roberts and Matt Edwards. Oscar Dominguez. No soft touches in this no. field. Wherever you draw, you got your hands full. All right, let's see. Josh says, do I want stripes or do I want solids? What's he taking, solids? Three ball? Yeah, he's taking mm -hmm. the three. Three, one, six. He'll come back for the six in the side. He'll probably uh, the six get on the five. There the always eight. seems to be a cluster around that spot where the mm -hmm. eight ball is, and that always seems to be the the problem. He can shoot the six down in the end. I don't he think he'll shoot it in the side. He'll probably just slide over for the four mm -hmm. next. Good point, because clusters are usually problems in eight ball. Good point. Got the outside of that pocket, but mm -hmm. it went down. Yeah, he'll uh, go. He, he needs an angle to go come into the two ball from the five. Yeah, he, he, he's looking to see if he can stop right here on the four and shoot the two next. I didn't see it before, but there's, there's a little a window. window between the eight and mm. the ten. Got to take perfect two ball position here. And did it he looks real nice. It looks like I he might he have. Did. He's looking. Yes, he did. Wow. Great wow. shot there. That he is a small window. That's a little porthole. And he's going to go forward on this just a little to get on the five. He's going to stun forward just to get on the five. No, he just rolled it. Rolled it with a nice stroke. He can slide over, take the eight in the same corner. He just made that two ball in. Yeah, just don't bump it. And he doesn't. And nice uh, run out. Very well done. He used the scaffold on that last one. Josh knows his way around this table. Very well done. <laughs> his runouts look exact opposite of Matt's. Matt, <laughs> Josh looks like he knows where he's going every time, and Matt looks like he's changing his mind every ball. Well, because he's got a better navigation system. Yeah, Matt's, you know, out for a ride in the country. <laughs> this is this is new terrain for him. Yeah, he's learning this game right now. Right. He's learning as you go. This is on-the-job training. Yeah. Seven foot tables. I, second time I've ever played on them. Well, you know what I have to say to that? Somebody better ship some diamond tables to New Zealand. <laughs> well, he is the New Zealand eight ball champion, but it's a much different game on a nine foot table. Mm -hmm. I got a surprise for you. No, never mind. Uh, I actually prefer to play eight ball. Eight ball is my least favorite of mm -hmm. any of the games. Mm -hmm. But I actually prefer to play eight ball on a nine foot table than the than the seven foot table. I feel I get claustrophobic right. on the seven foot table. Matt Edwards from New Zealand to break, twenty eight years old. Pretty robust looking young man. He's a good mm -hmm. solid six footer. Nice powerful break. Balls down. Pretty nice spread he got there. No cluster on this one, at least not around the eight ball. I think I'm going to go on a limb and say we're tied at six. That's a nice break. Only solid ball that's a problem is that five ball. Everything else is... None of the stripes are a problem. Except maybe the 11. And he just took care of that by looking at it, playing it off the six. Well, he's got to get there. I'm not Shouldn't so be sure. Tough. I'm not so sure he won't take solids though. I think he should start with a ten, 
a 15 combo and not this ball down here on the bottom because otherwise the 10 does not go to the same pocket the 14 is going to go to. The 10 15 combo. Let's right over here. Oh, okay. Right to the, uh, the lower left hand corner. I don't corner. think we're going to see him open with that shot. I'd be really surprised. Well, he could start with the 13, the 15, the 14, the 10 in the side. Um, he's still deciding. He's still making up yeah. his mind. The combo up there. I think he'll take solid. I mean, stripes. I think he's taking the stripes. Wow. Good call, George. Look yeah, at He's going to open up with this. Yeah. Good call. You get a gold star on that one. <laughs> <laughs> And he, he's, he's left he's left the ball there to lead um, to come that come back down for that 14 too. So he's he's in good shape here. He's going to have insurance balls for the next three or four shots. Nice soft shot there. He mm -hmm. was very careful. He didn't want that nine to roll down on the end rail. As long as he doesn't get hooked behind the three ball, getting position for the 11. Well, the 11's coming problems. next. Yep, that 11's next. Should be next. He's got to be pretty careful on that yeah, 11 this ball. Why, this is why, you know, he, he got just to where, you know, he's done that very well. Very nice. He's got to decide, do I shoot the ball off the, off the, if he shoots it off the 6, it can interfere with the 14. Well, he's got to, he's got to hit it actually pretty soft. He's not going to touch it, I think. He's not no, gonna he's going to hit it. Gonna he's going to use it. He'll yeah. use that 6 ball oh, for okay. sure. But you see, it could interfere with the 14. It came out far enough, so it's not a problem. That's why he hit it soft like mm -hmm. that. Now he has to get to the right side of the eight ball to play it in the left-hand corner pocket because it doesn't have any other pockets except the upper right-hand corner. This is where Matt's got in trouble a couple yes. times on yes. the last few balls. Yes. His key shot before the eight, he, he doesn't select it, doesn't get to it just right, and he's had some problems. See, this isn't this isn't optimum unless he plays the, that one there. But he still has to travel the cue ball down to the bottom right to the head to the foot of the pocket, up for the eight on the angle where he's I going he's into gonna, trouble. Yeah, he's gonna think he's going to shoot this ball. Oh, the he side. Is go he's, he's going, going your way. Side, yeah. Maybe he learned something. Uh, <laughs> he's going. He's going to the side. Don't hit that ball. Yeah, <laughs> that cost him a game, didn't it? Yeah. Cost him that game where he missed the ball on the spot. And now he's got to come up. If he chooses to come up, or he shoots a, a long shot to the corner pocket. See, he's looking over here. There's trouble on the right side. His angle has to be very precise coming off the bottom rail. Well, he doesn't think the way we think. I know that. He may well actually he shoot the eight down the corner. Well, no. he's going around it. Watch he's out. Watch he's in out. trouble. Watch he's out. in trouble. He just did what it I call again. Just what he I call did I mean, it again. It's, it, it, it jumps up at you. It just jumps up at you. When you get that little angle, these are touchy little angles, and especially on a seven-foot table. He's been playing on nine-foot tables. It it makes a big difference. This is this is something to see here. It makes a big I difference. I don't think he can kick off that rail no. and even hit no. the ball. No, he can't. He is... Um, He's uh, he put himself in jail. Josh is all wide-eyed and bushy-tailed right now. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "He said, my God, this mm. guy is going to give me another game." Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, wow. We can second guess all we want, but he just lost control there. Wow. Well, at least he left it a little y bit long. You know, you hate to see that, but. For all you amateur players out there, practice putting the cue ball where you need it coming out of the pocket. N everybody takes the shots, the balls in front of the pockets for granted, and they don't practice put being precise with the cue ball. Meanwhile, it's a little bit of a tricky, tricky opening here for Josh. He can play the three ball on the side with no problem because he's got cover with the two. And he's got a ball in front of the pocket with the four. And it's smooth sailing after that. He'll probably play the four, seven, five, six, and out. He's okay. He can bump yeah. that ball. Won't yeah, matter. Won't matter. He can play that now, too, and use the six ball for the key shot. This is probably the difference in the match right here is that Josh 
when he gets down to the last few balls, he keeps getting out, whereas Matt keeps stumbling. Correct. Uh, the difference in the match is you have an experienced seven-foot table player, uh, and this is uh, Matt's second time on it. And he's, he's got into trouble, uh, and both times predictable trouble. I wonder which one he would use there, the two ball or the six ball for the last shot. Well, no, it's got to be the two yeah. ball. He's a little bit straighter on the six yes. than he wants to yes. be. He'll slide, to, he'll, he'll hit this ball and probably come down two rails, I think. I think, I'm not sure, towards the two. No, just straight down, okay. Thought he had an angle to hit the side rail, the bottom rail, and come he back up to the did, two. He did, but it, he, he, didn't, he didn't want to chance he it. He didn't chance it, yeah. It was not much of an angle, so he'd be coming pretty close to the corner pocket. And he's going to steal another game and, and take a two-game lead. He's stolen several games, and now it tra it's translated to a, a very advantageous lead because he's breaking to get to get to get on the hill. Matt's going to be thinking about this for a long time if he does lose this match, uh, where he went wrong on a few of these racks. Mm -hmm. Where it, it, for all practical purposes, it looked like he should get out with no problem. He should have a four-game lead here. Well, you said that before, but. I'm sorry. He could have had a four-game yeah. lead here. Not should. It's never a should. It's, it's Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. That one. Yeah. That's a good one. And it applies here. sad to see but well it's a learning experience mm -hmm, it is and a big one because uh, you know he has tapes to review if he wants <laughs> and I think he, he strikes me as the type of person that would review those uh, uh, to uh, improve his game something that works on his game a lot of these players have never even watched themselves on the live stream I've talked to several th to quite a few of them and ask them if they've ever, you know, that that one was saved. It's on YouTube. Oh, really? Oh, really? They've never seen it. They may not want to watch it if they lose. <laughs> well, that's what – if I lose a match, that's exactly what I want to watch. I agree with you, but some players uh, don't want to see it again. Yeah. We made the 10 ball. I don't have a problem reliving my past. Because <laughs> if you don't learn from it, ouch. Here's the problem with this rack is those three balls by the corner pocket, the three, four, and the 13. Mm -hmm. It's tough to get to any of them. So if you take, if you take stripes, you've got one problem, 13 ball. If you take solids, you have two problems, the three, four, and the six. Pattern for running either or is pretty pretty open. It's nice. Yes, John Lehman, if he could play an opening combination, John acknowledges, yes, you can. So he could conceivably actually play the three ball here. He really? could start with the, he could shoot the 13 into the four and the three. But uh, he's gonna I'm not sure that's what he wants to do, but he was asking. He's going to play the 13 four, cutting back the three ball? I'm not saying it's he's going to do up it. Nice. He was thinking yes, about he it. Is. Now yes, he is. I just see how it lays. Yes, he is. <laughs> so he's apt to, t apt it's to open take solids. And well, the six ball. The, the six problem. ball was the other problem, correct? And he can take care of that right. Well, if he takes care of it here and doesn't get a shot, he won't have one. He doesn't have the angle here to. No, get he on doesn't. It. He doesn't really have. Uh, it's a dangerous. He can do it with the four. He can play the four on the side and, and, and use the cue ball to break up the six. This is kind of tight, but he can mm -hmm. see the edge of the six. Mm -hmm. This is good. This this will work. Yep. Although. Mission accomplished. He He's didn't really get the. He might shoot the five in the side off that. I think it's the off nine the ball. Nine. Yeah, the cue ball is going to run away. It's going to run towards the eight. Yeah, 14. he's going to have to cut that one ball in the yep. corner. And come over for the uh, for the six in the side. No, he, he might well, he might have called it. He's just thinking about it. He's just he's still trying to make up his mind which one he wants to do. He's called it. I don't like this. 
but I'm not him, and I don't have the cue ball control he well, has. He's got a plan. Yes, he does. He's got a plan. And, and how's the plan looking now? Not good. Uh-huh. He pulled a Matt Edwards. <laughs> That's a good one, Jay. That that one was good. I'll have to keep <laughs> um, Wow. Yeah. The angle coming off the five, it just uh, it wasn't fully controlled, as you just saw. It's Those steep angles are hard to control. He thought that he was going to have that sure. combination. Sure, sure. Now he's looking to see if he has the edge of the six. That's all he can do is cut it, and I don't know if he can scratch off the six ball. Uh, I don't think he'll scratch. I think the 11's going to stop it. But uh, I, I didn't know if he could. I guess he can see the very edge of yes the six. Yes, he can. He, can he wants to cut it back towards the one. He can see the whole left side of the six, so he's cutting it back. This is this would be a very, very nice shot. It's almost a great shot. If he makes it. Yeah, well, actually, in this, in this situation, it will be a great shot. It's not the shot he wanted. He makes it. That won't count. That will not count. But at least it's not ball in hand. And you know, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a tough shot. To, I mean, a, a, a easy shot to shoot here. No easy opening here. Well, he can shoot that nine ball in the corner. He can also uh, come off the uh, the thirteen and, and freeze him up against the nine and take ball and and uh, get ball start off with ball in hand. I have a sense that Matt Edwards is not thinking safety now. He wants to run a rack, regain a little confidence. This is a steep cut. Again, going back to what I said about steep cuts. Well, he can shoot that. F I think it's the 15 in the side. Mm-hmm. And still be safe, yes. Yeah. He'll be behind the eight, but he's, he's elevated. Well, he's got to make it. He's he needs elevated. to make this yeah. ball. Sure. He did. Now he's all right. Okay, we're off to the races. It's Sunday morning, rounding the far turn. Matt Edwards trying to make up ground on Josh Roberts. Both these players have had their trouble completing racks lately. Needs to get that nine out of the way so the 11 will pass later. Mm -hmm. He'll probably play either the 11 or the 14 will be the last ball he pockets. Looks easy until you get out there. Mm -hmm. Forward or back? Well, when this match is done, we're going to have a great match with Corey Duell and Skyler Woodward, both on the one lost side. And that'll be at uh, 1230. That's correct. Easy, and there we go. Eight ball on the side. Stop I think just so. Just bring the cue ball back just a couple inches. Dead straight center, just a little bit of, uh, below center, and boop. And there you go. Eight ball on the side. Pull and back within one game. Makes up a little ground here. And he's breaking. Mm-hmm. We're back on serve. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't say it because I said that's that's George's line. Uh, well, y you know, you 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 lead me into this. <laughs> I, I'm, I understand. <laughs> I, I, as I long am. as I don't lead you astray. All right. You do good, Kimosabe. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. It's funny. This I is a long, grinding match, George. It's it's. Yes, and it's, you know what it, it really is? It's a great learning experience for Matt on playing on the seven-foot table. Well, he'd like to be a learning experience where he wins. Correct. Correct. Well, just like yesterday, uh, there was a match where a player missed a very, uh, missed a hanger but was able to make up for it and still win the match, which made that hanger in his mind go away. Had he lost the match, he's having nightmares about that hanger. Well, Matt Edwards has to consider him for himself fortunate to be in this position right now because it sure looked like it was going to be 8-5. to five. And Josh Edwards kind of feels good about being where he is because of Matt Edwards' endgame. 
you know, the last few shots of the rack. Yeah. So. They both gifted each other in this mm. match. Yeah. This guy's got a powerful break. Boom. Four there ball. goes the four. Yeah. Yeah. Ball on the break. And everything's open. The eight See balls. any problems out there? Well, the 12 is against the eight, but it will go. Mm, maybe not. I think it'll go in the corner. It's the question is, yep. yeah, there's a nice camera yeah, view great there. Great camera. It won't. So the beautiful Cyclops balls. Yeah. yeah. If you take stripes, you want to move the three. If you take solids, you'll have to move the eight. How about moving the three right now? <laughs> he's making the three. He's taking yeah, the solids. And he's gone. moving the eight right now. See? Did it all. He did it all with one shot. One fell swoop. <laughs> Slipes. No more chicken. Heads off. Now, see, I look at this rack, George, and I've been watching a lot of bar table eight ball over the years. And with good players and the rack open like this, you fully expect them to run out. Mm -hmm. And that has not always been the case in this match. No, no, it hasn't. But, you know, back to the woulda, coulda, shoulda. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's they, they, a couple times there's been some problems. Josh has been more successful than Matt has getting out when he should have. I like that shot right there. Opened everything up. Take the seven ball. Uh-huh. I like that position where no. he put the cue ball. Does he come down or does he go up, back up, to get on the six for either right-hand side corner well, What pocket? about just, I think he can just follow a couple inches and shoot the six up in the corner. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Although but the angles Matt has surprised us more than once. <laughs> <laughs> he might shoot the one for all we know. Uh, or the I five. I would not recommend shooting I'm the one. Well. There's a lot of things we wouldn't recommend, and he's done it anyway. Yeah, the five ball stays there. The five ball is his insurance that he gets a good angle on the six. Look at, I'm telling you, he's still making up his mind. He's laying where it's, you not, and it's I not would, that easy. You and I know that the, the, the seven ball has got to be the correct shot here. Yes. It's which way to go. If you go, if he, if he draws back, he's, he might nibble the eight because it's got a little bit of an angle. It's not dead straight in. He is going to shoot it. Mm-hmm. If he goes forward, he wants a perfect angle on it, so he can get to the five and then get to the one. But where do you go with where do you go to the to the for the eight if you shoot the one ball last? Well, he opted he to do what I what ball I suspected. Now, shooting yeah. the six ball now, he has to shoot the probably the the, the one five. ball last or the f yeah he yeah. shoot the five ball next and the one ball last, meaning he has to travel his cue ball. He's just got to play good position for once on the eight ball. It doesn't go to either bottom corner pockets. He's got to get to the side pocket. He's playing the five ball with the. S he's playing the combo. Hmm. So so he doesn't have to shoot the one I don't ball like last. That I don't like that shot. He and look what neither happened. Neither does he. <laughs> Why did he do that? That makes no sense. He to didn't want to shoot the one ball last. He wanted to have Ugh. a key shot close to the eight. You got to take what the table gives you. Uh, and what I saw is you shoot the six in the corner, the five in the side, you shoot the one last well, and get, get up on the Well, anyway, it doesn't matter now, right. does it? No. He tried to create. He actually messed up both balls. By shooting that combination, George, if I could complete this thought, if you, by shooting the six into the five, there was always a danger of the six laying over there on the side rail. Sure, sure. Well, he didn't consider the danger of laying the six on the rail. He figured it would stop right in front of the hole and he'd be just fine. He is faced with a big, big shot here. It might be, he might be able to kick under, oh, he can't. That's so, so delicate. Kick underneath the bottom rail, underneath the 14 and into the six. Yeah, he, he's put himself in a spot where he's oh got to make a miracle shot. Yep. I mean, he's got to make a miracle shot. He's called and he in didn't, the corner. And he didn't have to do this. Sure. It's uh, it, if I sound frustrated, I am. No, it's we've seen him do it three or four games now. Well, three games now. He's he's played so well to this point, to this point. He gets here to this point in the game, and then he seems to struggle. And that is being he new to the he seven. He cannot se complete seven a wreck. Table. Here goes the cue ball. Wow. And. 
This brings Josh Roberts to the table, playing to get to the hill. And oh, he did jam. Up, he did jam up those three balls right there. Well, he's going to move those three balls right now. He's going to play one of them into the 15 ball, and uh, and then proceed to run out. Easy for you to say. Well, I'm in the booth. I mean, I can't. <laughs> I can't do anything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it doesn't affect me, you know, if if it's wrong. But my, does it has it affected Matt? Oh, he doesn't like that. That just got tough. That just got tough. I think he can still make it. I think he can still make it. He's playing it right now. Might as well. Because he won't have a better time to play it. It was still tough. Made it look easy. Good shot of that Predator Chalk right there by his hand. That eyes, it's an octagon, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many times have we seen this happen in the match where Matt just turns an empty table over to, I mean, an open table over to Josh Roberts? Four. And Josh just cleans him up? Four. This is why I'm saying Matt could easily have led this game by four or five games. Well, he's he just doesn't have those skills yet to take control. He's got the skills. It's the it's knowledge. The, the, the knowledge of play, uh, it's the, it's the adjustment of playing on the seven foot table. The pattern play. Yeah, the pattern play. It's so much look tighter. Out, look out! Okay. It's so He's much tighter right. on the small table. Josh Roberts is on the hill, eight to eight to six, and breaking. What does Fargo rate predict here? He's at nine percent. Now he just, he's down. Let's see what it goes to. 3% chance of getting well. Not a high. The good thing about this loss, if Matt does lose the, lose it, is he still, he puts him on the, oh, this is a, this, yeah, this he puts no, him on the, no, it's a winner bracket match. A, it puts yeah, on he'll the, go on the one loss side. Yeah, for one, and that's what I was going to say. That was my point, and then, the note that I have I about our next match, which is on the one loss side, came into mind. And I thought that this was a, a one loss side match. It just uh, played with my mind. And that's what I was going to say is, yeah, he, he's still on the one loss side. He's still in the tournament. He's not, not going home It'll yet. be interesting to me si to see how he responds after this match, if he, in fact, loses. Because um, there's a lot of negative things that took place in this match mm -hmm. for Matt Edwards. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that. Uh, at this point, he just wants to come back to the table. He's not breaking the balls. So he's 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 kind of hoping there's not a break and run. We haven't seen many break and runs in this match. In this match, I don't think we've seen any. I think Josh had one Josh early had one? in the match. It should be, yeah. That was it. Yeah. Oh, I did. He had that real pretty one, remember? Yeah. That real uh, 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 surgical one. He had a real nice one. Well, this is the kind of guy that might run this rack. Mm -hmm. He knows how to complete a match. He's got some clusters. He's got yeah, a one ball tied up with two stripes. And then he's got the one on the bottom there, the three ball and the ten ball. Well, he maneuvers around those balls a lot better than <laughs> Matt right now. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Matt has maneuvered well, except for on the last two or three balls. That's where he's had his problem. That's a bad place to have him. It's the worst because you've committed to the run out, and now you don't you don't finish it, and it leaves your opponent with uh, bread and butter. Josh has no no choice here. He's going to have to take solids. He's going to have to deal with that one ball and the three. He can't even see a stripe, can he? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He used the whole pocket, didn't he? Yes, he did, <laughs> and, and he's left himself in a place where he he he. he uh, can't come out of it. Well, real, he can, real he's well. He, he, I think he can roll forward yeah. on the four and take the five next. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only option he has here. Well, depend. Yes. He's stroking like he can do more, and he did. But still, does he want to shoot this two ball? No. No. He's got no. Well, if he shoots the five, he can break the one out here. Mm -hmm. And he can also get stuck behind the twelve. Well, I think that's the difference between Josh and Matt is. 
Josh knows how to hit this so he gets that cue ball back in play. See, he hit her mm -hmm. hard. And he's, you see, he, he hit her hard enough yeah. that he spun out. That's right. He hit it in a way that's not going to leave him behind a ball. In other words, it's going to move after it makes the hit. But he ain't got much here. I mean, can he play this combination, the two to the seven? The one Oof. ball went in. Wow, he's got a problem. He's got a problem right now, a big problem. He might back up the two. Oh, he's going for the two to seven. It's his only option. It's well, his only option. He's got a good angle on it, but this is a tough combination. Yes. Wow. He hit that ball good. Wow. Meanwhile, he's still got trouble. He's still, yes, he does. He's got two ball, and he's got to get on the three. Um, he's working hard to complete this rack. Can he? I don't know if he can no, no, he come can, over here now. He's, he's going to have to try to shoot this two in the side, I think, mm -hmm. unless he wants to play safe. He's thinking about ducking Sit behind that 10 Up ball. against the 10. He wants to get up against the 10. But that just leaves Matt um, other balls to hide behind, not to give up the shot behind, not to give up the three or the deuce. Now See he's looking he at shooting it in the side. Yeah, that's I think so. He's going to. Yeah, he's shooting right at inside. it. He's shooting at it. He's trying to win the match right he's now. He's going to go two rails with the cue ball and try to get in position for the three ball in the right-hand side pocket, corner pocket, excuse me. Oh, no, he just He made it. it. He nice. made it. Where's this go? <laughs> Where's this go? Is he one gonna, rail? Is he going to cut this it? one on the side? He's going to bank it in the side, I think. I guess he's got room between the 13 and the 8 to mm -hmm. bank it. Let's mm -hmm. see. Let yep. me see. Let yeah, me look at this. Yeah, he does. He does have a little yeah. path there. Wow. Can this he do this? Can he do this? For the win. He got a lucky kiss, but it counts. It what counts. It kissed off the 13 ball. Wow. Off the, it kissed off the wow. 10 ball. Kissed off the 10 ball. We what have a, a winner, Josh Roberts, by a score of 9-6. to six. He mm -hmm. will continue on the winner's side against Bustamante next round. Next Who match. Who we got coming up here? Coming up, we got Corey Duell and Skyler Woodward. On the one lost side. Don't go See far. You. It's coming up at 1230. Perfect.